Hey, Patrick. What are we going to learn today? <sighs> Friction. Friction is a force between two surfaces that tries to prevent those surfaces from slipping and sliding across each other. The amount of friction depends on the materials of the two surfaces. The rougher a surface is, the more friction is produced. This is because the small grooves in rough surfaces hit into each other, causing resistance. Smooth surfaces have smaller grooves, therefore produce less resistance. That's why it's easier to slide across the floor in your socks than in your shoes. Not only does friction make it more difficult to slide objects across each other, but it also produces heat. Rubbing your hands together really fast is the easiest way to observe this. This ability to produce heat can be very useful, like when you're trying to start a fire, for example. But friction can also be very annoying. It may cause equipment to overheat, which can be troublesome for you when that piece of equipment breaks. Speaking of which, friction is responsible for the wear and tear of everyday objects. It's the reason why we have to buy new shoes or new tires every now and again. Furthermore, it causes us to spend more energy to do work. Just imagine trying to push your sofa across the room and you'll know what I mean. But it's not all bad. Without friction, we wouldn't be able to walk or run around properly. Instead, we would be slipping and sliding everywhere. Without friction, we wouldn't be able to hold on to things either, nor be able to stop a car or bicycle. But let's say you didn't want to reduce the friction. How would you do that? To reduce friction, we need to find a way to stop the two surfaces from directly rubbing against each other. We can do this by adding a substance between the two surfaces. This substance is called a lubricant. The lubricant creates some space between the two surfaces, allowing them to glide over each other more easily. Now let's do something fun. For this experiment, you'll need an old CD, a sport water bottle cap, a balloon, and some hot glue. First, use hot glue to attach the bottle cap to the center of the CD. Next, blow up a balloon. Then, Carefully stretch the mouth of the balloon over the bottle cap without letting the air escape. Make sure the cap is closed first though. After the balloon has been safely attached to the bottle cap, Pull the cap open. Finally, try to push the disc across the table. What do you notice? Why is this happening? The balloon is forcing air through the bottle cap and under the disc. This creates a thin layer of air between the disc and the table. The air becomes a type of lubricant. Instead of rubbing against the table, the disc is now rubbing against a layer of air that's trapped in the middle. Because the disc and the table are not directly touching each other, the friction is reduced and the disc is able to glide across the table more easily. Cool, right? Now it's your turn to try. Thank you for watching. Now remember, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. The amount of love. <laughs> 
That's why it's easier to slide across the floor <laughs> in your socks than in your shoes. <laughs> That's what I would do. Can be very useful. Like when you're trying to create 